What's good, y'all? I'm the Psychedelic Seal, back to bring you more of our blind playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're not waiting any longer. We're going straight into our first temple as adult, and we got some wolves to face off with. Last time we went ahead and did some journeying as an adult, went to Kakariko Village, got the hookshot from Dampe, and freed our beloved steed, Apona, and we have our first dungeon as an adult. Hopefully we don't die. Gotta figure out how, just, okay. Just how the, figure out just how combat works in this game. There we go. All right, so yeah, we are in our very first dungeon as an adult. And at this point, it really does become a bit more of a blind playthrough for me. I have only completed this dungeon once in my previous time. Hey, look, there's a Skulltulla. We will absolutely be getting that in one second. So there's going to be a whole bunch of exploring in this episode. I'm interested to see what a lot of these dungeons are like as an adult. And especially considering that I have more Zelda experience under my belt now, uh, playing so much Wind Waker and playing a link to the plat link to the past as well. This music be bumping though. It'd be so it's unnerving. That's what it is, honestly. So I'm interested to see if this is going to be hard, if this is going to be difficult, or just kind of what it's going to be like. Because I know that there... Okay, that works too. I know that there's a difficulty hike in this game once you go into adult. Like, the child section is... I got it. I mean, I could just skip past these guys, right? I'm just going to skip past these guys. I already beat y'all once. Okie dokie. I'm liking the atmosphere of this a lot so far. Hookshot does a lot better against those guys. Hopefully we can find some hearts soon because I would like to, you know, not die. That's usually a prerogative in my day-to-day -day life. Ooh. I, lo I love some good colors on the flames. Okay, so we got Pose. I like how they each have different faces. That's a really cool effect. And I see one of those eyes that I know what item we're gonna need to conquer those eyes. So I'm guessing that we need to go find all four of those pose and reignite those lights. So we'll go ahead and go over here to start with and remove this time block. Is that what they're called? We're going to call them time blocks for my purposes. What's behind door number one? I see hearts. That's good. Ooh, and uh, one of those big old Boku Babas. I do know that Deku nuts are kind of overpowered and I forgot a lot about that in child So we'll maybe be making a little bit of better use of those and hopefully finding a Heart soon because I do not want to listen to that beeping longer than I have to okay That was a no-go. So maybe we'll go on over here. Is there any more of those guys? It do look like there will be Probably not gonna be able to get that last one. Oh heart Anything over here? No, it does look like we're going to have to... That water looks so pretty, though. It looks so, like, unnaturally blue that it's almost more appealing that way. All right. So let's just climb up. Hope we can dodge that one Skulltola that's up there. You're going to come this way. You're following me. I do not like it when you follow me, good sir. I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. You see me. You see me. And the Beebin be back. Oh, that's nice that you can, like, climb up the vines using the hook shot. That is 100% useful. Or can you? I feel like this is not the way I should go, actually. We're going to come back to this. I do think, think that I do feel like this is a central hub that we're going to have to come back to eventually. But I want to see what the other three doors have to offer. Because it seems like you might need the bow for that guy. Uh, we do have some pots over here. Okay. As long as we can keep that beeping away, it's all good. All right, we have the small key. We might as well, let's go ahead and use it. Figure out what's inside here. It is very satisfying once you can like have an enemy that's just like, ooh, I'm dropping down from the ceiling and then you just hook shot them once and then they just evaporate. Oh. All right, so those guys take two hits. What's over here? Nothing of note. Something up there, but I'm guessing it loops around. 
All right. Let's go upstairs. Keep going up and up and up. All right. Not sure where that sound is coming from, but I'll just keep an eye on my six for that. There are arrows painted on the floor. Thank you, Navi. I did notice that. So it looks like it's supposed to go this way. Man, Link's got buff in his seven years. He'd be hitting the gym every single day while he was trapped in the sacred realm. Yo, you see how the way his ankle be twisted? His, his like right ankle? That's so unnatural. Okay, I can't go up higher than that. I'm just gonna have my sword drawn. And this, this is kind of the starting room. Okay. Okay, we got another block right there. And that looks like pretty much the only place we can go. So let's go ahead and push this. Okay, so whatever that is, is locked, it sounds like now. Huh. Can't get over there. I'm going to have to use the big old brain blast to try to get past this one. This is the first room and I'm already struggling. <laughs> oh, okay. I see an eye up there. Let's go back over here. Maybe I can hit this with my hook shot. It does look like I can hit it. Okay, so that doesn't activate. Interesting. So did I go in the wrong room? Or are the arrows being false to me? All right, we'll try the third, see if what the other rooms kind of have to offer us. Maybe get a heart from this guy real quick. Oh, all the hearts. Thank you very much, good sir. Okay, now I'm a lot more confident in moving forward, knowing that I don't really have to watch my health quite as closely. Okay, that room is locked by the eye, and that room doesn't look like we have access to it yet. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I think what I'm going to start off with is going back to this room, maybe trying to make it past that skull teller or kind of see what I can do, because I feel like this is... I feel like this is kind of a good starting room. There we go. Got to get those quick spins down in this game as well. What's over here? Doesn't look like anything of note so far. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No. There's a Boku Baba. Some hearts over there. There's something over there. I'm gonna try heading back over there and seeing what that does. I wonder maybe if I can bait this guy down to getting a little bit lower. Come on. Let's go pay, play a chess match. Maybe don't play a chess match with that guy. Maybe just fall down instantly. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Go, 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 Link. Go, 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 go. Oh my lord. Okay, I wanna go up the right side note. So now I know that. That's where the door is. So it does look like that guy kinda of goes back to his happy place. Okay, I made it. I made it. Now, what is this? I'm locked in. So you have to stun those guys, it looks like, in order to actually defeat them. Okay, and we get another chest. This one's a big one, too. Oh, hopefully, it's at least the dungeon map. If we have the dungeon map, that means I'm a little bit more confident about our prospects moving forward. That way, I can at least have some bearing on where I can go. Awesome. Dungeon map is perfect. All right, let's kind of look at what's going on here. So there's three floors. The bottom two seem pretty, pretty minimal, honestly. Kind of have an idea of what's going on now. So that means that I am going the right way because usually the dungeon map is the first. Oh, look, you're so tiny. The dungeon map is usually the very first one that is given. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You know what? That's one way to do it. Okay, and that drains the well. So I'm assuming that well is a great place on where to go next. Man, you take a lot of, or at least I'm taking a lot more damage in this game than I'm used to in many other Zelda games. But thankfully, we get a nice little refill of hearts right here, because the game knows I'd be struggling right now. And I'm assuming we get another small key right here? Okay, perfect. Okay, and this is where we were earlier. Skull Teller right there. Hmm. I feel like I need to go over here somewhere. The map would suggest that, but I'm just not sure how to get over there. I'm gonna try to get around this guy real quick. Go back to the main hub room. 
now that I also know that there is an entrance right dead in the center, I'm going to explore that a little bit more. That doesn't even need a key. There's a real chance I might have wanted to go there first. Those Deku nuts are really, really good. Oh, we got two of them? Okay, doing pretty good against these guys so far. Okay, that was not too bad. Come on. Ooh, got him in his kneecaps. Ooh, dogged me up before I was able to dog him up. Okay, those aren't too bad of enemies. It's honestly just kind of waiting for their weak spot to kind of pop up for half a second. Ooh, fairy. Fairy, fairy, fairy. Would you like to live in my bottle? It is a very cozy bottle. I have made it specially for you. I love a good little bit of insurance for when I screw up. Okay, and we get, I'm assuming, another small key? If it's that tiny of a chest. Okay. So we're, getting, we're just stockpiling small keys like we the janitor right now. Hmm. I'm thinking we might want to go explore this room a little bit more. Actually, no, that's a little bit moot because we know where all of that goes. I guess let's go back to that block room and see, like, what we can do there. It does seem a little bit pointless to go back to there because it seemed pretty linear overall. There's just some type of puzzle where it seems like I need the bow for. But obviously we do not have that yet. Okay, so one jab, one a jump slash gets rid of those guys, so that's good to know. Oh, oh, that's where that block goes. I am a nincompoop. Okay, that makes way more sense. I just didn't see that last arrow. So that's why I thought that there was nothing I could do there. Okay, and now we push this block into this divot right here, as the arrows do suggest. And then we can climb it. Looky there. Wow, Link's got hops, too. We got arrows leading that way. Okay, so I do need to go back around for this one. Okay, this is making way more sense now. As soon as you hear that ding in Zelda, that's how you know you did something right. It does feel like something's about to come for the booty, though. All right, well, there's the ladder. Let's just head upwards. Ah, uh, there was the- that's all that flapping. Yeah, once you realize that a single jump slash kills those guys, become a little bit easier. Not too easy, though. Okay. So that still seems like a- well, we have a- we have a key. Let's go and use that key. And if you have vertigo, this corridor is all twisted. It do be, Navi. It really do be like that. It's a great effect, though. I really like that. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang... What? All right, so not there. Interesting. So we did need both small keys to get this far. So that's good that we've gone... We've done this much? That looks important. So does that. Oh, I hear... I hear something nefarious. This looks like a good battle area. Huh, okay, maybe need some type of... Need some type of light. Oh! Whoa, that gave me chills, dude. That was kind of scary. Oh, that gave me chills. This is so much creepier. We don't have anything right now, but we can go through this door. What does this door lead? Okay, Stalfos with a big old hole in the middle. Look at... Z-target him. There we go. The like, little stabbing attack that he does is really powerful. Okay, and that brings down the platform. And brings out two more Stalfos. Oh god, I'm about to die. Alright, uh, Malin. I'm gonna need to go get more milk from you, but this is something for right now. You take a lot more damage in this game than you do in Wind Waker, that's for damn sure. There's one, as my frame rate really does not like that. Okie dokie. 
All right, I feel like we're going to be getting something good here. Because that's three of those Talfos in one room. I feel like they were guarding something juicy. I'm glad we found all those pieces of the heart because I am taking damage like I like it. It's going to be something good because we got, we got that theme music to it. And we get the fairy bow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I wonder, I mean, I remember the what's it called being kind of difficult to use the slingshot so let's see how this does for me keep going forward i suppose i mean we can go back here maybe i'm assuming that you want to kind of shoot that poe there we go do you have to shoot both paintings or just the one it would appear that you have i don't know why i'm like looking around the corner like i i <laughs> i moved my head as if i was looking around the corner but I realize that it's a video game and I'm not actually in this. I'm immersed as hell right now. I'm really enjoying this. I'm waiting for you. Assuming you gotta go down. Oh, look at you. I did not even see you right there. Okay, so that means... Okay, and we know where the third one is. And that brings out this Poe, who I'm assuming is also weak to arrows. Ooh, as he's, he's spinning. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to be like materialized like that. Okay. Just take your time. I, I, I think that's something that I've, since doing all of the randos, that's something that I've kind of missed is that like in a lot of these games, if you don't know, there is of course probably some optimum strategy you need to use, but it's very worth it just to take your time sometimes, take things nice and slow, and you'll find that it, works to your advantage quite a bit. He do be taking a lot of arrows, though. He do be taking a lot of arrows, but I got a lot of arrows. Okay, so that's our first flame of the four reignited. Go ahead and add to our quiver. And another small key. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And where do we get spit back out? Oh, in another Poe room. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you. I think. Ooh, I almost quick shot at him. Oh, I see you. You tried to hide from me? I like the blue. That's just such a pretty blue. All right, I'm getting the hang of this now. I, I guess like it's one of those things where I guess if you kind of figure out the trick of the dungeon, you're a lot better equipped to deal with it. But he'd be spinning too. So Link is a lefty. Look at that. I didn't notice. I didn't know that. <laughs> Don't go up the stairs, mister. I'm not done with you. How many shots do these fools take? It's so weird not having to hold L for the Z targeting. Or Z, technically, for this game. But I haven't mapped to the L trigger. Just because, honestly, I'm treating this with like the same controls I do for the Wind Waker. Like, I always have my bow on Y. always have the musical instrument on Z, which is left or right. I know my directions. I am an adult. And I'm assuming either... I'm assuming probably compass, right? Perfect. So we came from down here, so we'll go upwards. Make sure we fully explore everything. Looks like we missed quite a few little goodies around here. Have to work on getting those later. But right now, we got another entrance we can go into with a small key. What in the actual world? Watch for the shadows of monsters. Okay, yeah. Get you. Interesting. Let's try going up here, maybe? These guys should be quickly dispatched with an arrow, and it do seem like it'd be like that. I do need one more small key before I can progress over here, though. So it looks like over here is going to be the best. Well, our only option at this current moment. I want to know what Navi's talking about, these shadows. Oh. Uh, as if on cue. All the way back here? Are you serious? That's some BS. Man, he really do be snatching you, though. We can come at it from this way now, though. Or can we? Yeah, we totally can, because that's why they put that eye there, because they fully expect you to be grabbed by that floor master at least once. Which makes sense. Like, it really does. What do these do? Okay, it doesn't instantly kill them, but two does, which is pretty solid. Got another well over there. 
Hmm. So we do definitely want to get up to that chest at some point. Is this well drained? Break the kneecaps? Oh, we definitely already came over here. Interesting. So now it's just kind of sending us for a loop. So that means we probably have to go back to where we were going. Yeah, I think going back to that left side is going to be the move because it looks like we missed a couple chests there anyways, which we should be able to get all of them now between the hookshot and the bow because some of them might be bow locked. One thing I can absolutely give this game is, is there an atmosphere to this place? The atmosphere is, is so, it's daunting. It's scary. Like there's just a real set. Like it, it's weird because there is a temple vibe. Like it's very accurate in that regard, but you can just tell something's wrong about it. Just by the, just by the music and how thing like the sounds that you hear and just how overall cold it feels. Glad I don't have to do that block puzzle again. I, I truly do appreciate that. And now this can do something, right? Ah, we got a ch that's the chest we were missing in this room, which is a whole bundle of arrows that I think we might have already had kind of full, but you know what? <laughs> we have to check everything anyways. That's one of my rules for playing Zelda. Well, I actually didn't, now that I'm back here, let's see what this does. Oh, so it does force you to, interesting, I like that. That means that I'm gonna get the last chest over here now. Is Navi gonna remind me that something's trying to come for the booty at all times? Hey, look, boss key chest. Well, that was not oopsie dudes. I did not see that hole there. Well, I have to defeat these guys too. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh, it totally knows that that's going to happen. I was so paranoid about that floor master that I didn't even see the hole and I have to defeat these guys. Bit of a bummer, but that is a okay. Where did that spit me out? Oh, that's actually useful because I knew that I wanted to get over here at some point. Was it right then? No, but that's okay. What's over here? Not something I want to do right now. I feel like the other room is kind of a dead end so I can just figure out what that does and then never have to come back here again. Oh, okay, sir. All right. So that's so creepy. It's little hands. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off of me. What in the world, dude? I swear to God, if this goes back into a, a big boy. Okay, so maybe, like, if he leeches the life off of you, then he grows into, like, a whole being again. Oh, dude, floor masters in this game, whatever they're called, the hands, the dead hands, those are not, not those are things not to mess around with. And I'm assuming that's the final small key. We've found a lot of small keys. Let me even see, like, we have, we have a few more chests. We'll just kind of see where this goes. Oh, I see where we are now. Hopefully we can find more hearts as well. Yeah, there's a 100% difficulty jump because I, other than that one, like a uh, mini boss in uh, Jabu Jabu, I really didn't have any issues or anything like that fighting any enemies. This is significantly harder, like, very quickly. I like it. It's kind of a fun challenge. I, and I, I do appreciate it because I, I did like Link to the Past for that reason that it was more difficult, but I like the Wind Waker for a lot of mostly aesthetic reasons, story reasons, and just gameplay reasons. Um, but it's kind of fun having something that's a bit of a middle ground and it's fun because you can kind of see the progression of how Zelda was made. As in, in terms of difficulty and mechanics and controls, especially. Okay, so I killed that floor master, so that shouldn't mean that I can get this chest in peace now. And we get the big key, which, oh, I can't get over how good the polys in this game look. Um, where do I go now? Okay, so no, you're supposed to go back down here. Hopefully I don't, yeah, I don't have to defeat those enemies again. Thank goodness. 
Ooh. Go ahead and kind of. I wonder if I can get that. I could totally get that Skulltella now, though. Okay, what's the move from here? So we got everything on that floor. We just haven't gone to that far, far room yet. Which I think is what we need to do. Because that far room, I'm sure, is going to let us into that uh, left side. Just got to find a way to connect everything. I wonder if I can... Uh, that hook... Sh that chest is kind of far away. I might not be able to... No, I can hookshot that. I think I should be able to hookshot that. Yeah. I was... Okay, I I can. I just need to get the right angle, I think. There we go. I'll take that. I feel like that's not the way you're supposed to go. Maybe it is. Maybe there's a hookshot thing up here somewhere. There's hookshot things up there. 100% can't reach those, though. Huh. We were up there earlier, though. So I think we got to get back up there and then follow the place where, like... Because it says that we haven't got this one or that one. So it makes sense that we would want to follow those paths. Go back in this room one more time. Try to find our way through it. Especially, like, how in Link to the Past, where, like, all of the enemies respawn. So, like, every time you go through the room, you kind of have... If you're not super adept at the game, you really do have to defeat every enemy every single time. And then you notice your resources are getting low. Like, I only have six arrows right now. Because this is the room that was twisted before. So I wonder if there's, like, a... No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder if I can retwist this room by shooting that eye again. Have to preserve my arrows, even though that's definitely the best way to get rid of these guys. Okay. This was pretty much my last ditch effort. Okay. Thank God. So that twists it back up again. So that allows us to go through where we got caught by the floor master before. Okie dokie. I think we're getting somewhere, everybody. So twisty and turvy. God, these other temples are going to give me a rough time. Okay. And now we're back here. I've already killed this Poe, though, so that's good news. Hoping maybe I could have got some more ammo, because I am still running dangerously low on that. Oh, I think you get a bunch of... Like, another thing that's very reminiscent of Link to the Past is all these pots that hold hearts and arrows and ammo and everything like that, they don't respawn those resources. Which is really unfortunate for me. Okay, now take two at this. Gonna wait for that floor master to drop down. So he doesn't snatch me up again. And we're gonna go up this way. Okay, and this is the room that I didn't have the small key for before. We are making progress. Ooh, and I'm sure I'm gonna need a Deku stick, I'm guessing? Yep, I'm gonna need a Deku stick to melt that ice. And then I can shoot it with an arrow. Oh, no, I have to shoot it as if it's a fire arrow. That's so cool. And I missed. Well, that's not good. What happens if I just run out of arrows? That's That won't be good for our progress. I was about to say, please, let, please tell me I hit that. Okay, and that unwinds the door. Oh, awesome. There's some pots, which I'm sure contain arrows for this exact situation. Thank goodness. And a heart. For the road. So now that's all twisty. Where it wasn't before, we're just gonna dip and dodge on these guys. Dodge and weave. Oh no. Don't, don't go down there quite yet. We're just gonna wait for this floor master. Okay, or we're just gonna go down there right away. That's okay, though. I think this is actually what we needed to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seal, watch out. The ceiling is falling down. No kidding. But it looks like there's some strategic places where I might be able to hide. Just gonna try to full send it. Get this chest. Oh, no. I'm gonna say that this is probably a safe space. That would make sense. Good. 
then I'm going to go back and get that chest. That's... Okay, sweet. At least I don't have... I'm not completely sent back on progress. What's over here? Let's go exploring, I guess. Okay, this is where I already got that recovery hard. Okay, good to know. Good to know, good to know. Looks like there's a pretty open space on that left side that I'm definitely going to take advantage of. I think it's like right here, maybe? I hope so. Nailed it. There's something going to be coming down from the floor. See all the shadows? I should just be able to pop this guy, right? Okay. Maybe... Ah! What? What in the actual world? Okay, I have to do, do the puzzle. Thank goodness I like puzzles. And this one looks like it's a, a red herring. Come on, Link. We're a little tight on time here. I'm not going to be able to make it. That's such BS. Oh, okay. I get you. Okay, I'm very glad that it doesn't just completely reset your progress or, like, kick you out of the room and have you redo it all again. There we go. There has to be a quick way to kill these guys, right? Rather than just wasting, like, waiting for the pop-up, come back, pop-up, come back. Maybe, maybe there is, maybe there is, and who, who really knows? But all I know is that we only have one more to go. And then we are ready to, we don't need those. Ready to get this all done. Yeah, major, major leap in difficulty. That's, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but 100% unexpected. Oh, and then the last one is right there in the middle. I'm so sorry I killed all your brothers, but you're just gonna kinda have to deal with it. Okay, so you just gotta kinda wait for which one I'm gonna get those arrows if I don't mind. I don't know if it's just a crapshoot which one it is or if there's some type of strategy, but what I'm doing seems to be working okay. So it is a bit of a crapshoot. So that means if it is the last one, that means that it's just gonna spin and make sure that you don't hit it. Like that, like that. Oh, I saw that one spin. So it's whatever one spins. Haha, -ha, I found your tricks. I am proud of myself for figuring that out. I feel so damn smart. It's only taken me over an hour to get through this first dungeon, but I feel damn smart about that. Okay, I think we've cleared out this dungeon, right? Yeah, no more chests. All we got, we do have one down there, but as far as up here goes, we're all done -zo. I am gonna get these chests real quick though. All right, let's go down to Boogie Town. Now, what's gonna be the gimmick here? Maybe you push it in? No. You can kind of see behind there, that's kind of funny. I mean, it has to be these. Maybe I'm just not giving it enough gusto. Oh, okay. You gotta, gotta push them a little bit more vigorously. Does that do anything? It doesn't look like it does. Go ahead and turn this one this way again. Make sure we're keeping the same direction each time so we don't get too confused. What do we get in this chest? Our final chest. I will not say no to that. I think I might have already been full, but that is a-okay. And we finally feel... I mean, finally find that skull teller that was burrowing its way into my ear holes. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And there's one switch. That opens up the key for the other switch. 
which I would want to do this for, I think. Maybe not. I mean, if you just keep pushing, you're going to find your way out eventually. And I sincerely hope you took that in exactly how I intended you to take that. Okay, I think this is the last one. That noise would suggest it is. In fact, we got a straight shot to the final boss of this dungeon. Do we get any type of insurance? Don't look like the game is that kind to us today. But... No time like the present. Let's go ahead and safety save. And we're good to go. Our first boss as an adult, everybody. What are you getting at? Okay, there we go. Cutscene has been activated. Oh my, Mr. Dorf is here. Yo, that jaw is messed up, though. Evil spirit from beyond, Phantom Ganon. I do remember this boss. I... But, am I gonna be able to execute? If I don't hit him, oh dear, oh dear. Oh God, shock to the system, my dude. Got him. Got him. Damn, Link's eyes are blue. Ooh. <laughs> he almost got me. He almost got me, man. Wow, I did not know that there was gonna I don't didn't remember there being multiple in different paintings. That that caught me off guard, not gonna lie. Come on, be you, be you, be you. C come on. I'm Roger Federer in this business. Oh God, I got dogged up. Come on, come on, Link. All right, hopefully just one more. Bing bop, bing bop, bing bop, bing bop. Oh, it looks like it's gonna need one more. Who did not die in Forest Temple? That is a good win for us, everybody. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. Good lord. That's terrifying. It's so shiny, I see my reflection. Now give me all that juicy health, please. What are we at, 10? Dang, dude. We got one whole bar. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so that took a lot longer than any child dungeon did. Good lord. I've been recording for almost an hour and 20 minutes. And I still got analysis to do. <laughs> oh, we're in the chamber of... Okay, so it goes straight to the chamber. Okay. Okay. Saria, thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No? You don't have to explain it to me, because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the Forest Sage and help you. Now, please take this medallion.
And that is two of six medallions, everybody. We are gaining all of the power. Saria will always be your friend. And I love that we get spit out in front of the Deku tree. Oh, is that a little? Is that a little Deku sprout I see? Oh my god. <laughs> He's like, what's good? Oh, and the music too. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kakiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kakiri. You're actually- Okay, we're Hillian. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the king of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as the Kakiri, and now the day of destiny has finally come. And that call back to the music to the very beginning of the game? You are a Hillian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Seal, break the curses on all of the temples and return peace to Hyrule. Sounds good, my dude. So, I might go into like the whole mother at war thing maybe in a later episode, but I just kind of want to hit on really quickly for just a couple minutes. Well, not, e not even a couple minutes, just a real quick that I think that it was really poetic for the fact that Sorry did not say a whole lot. It was always this, and look how bright everything is now. Oh, I love it. But Saria didn't say a whole bunch, but she never really said a whole bunch to you even growing up. It was just this common understanding and treated you with kindness when really nobody else did. And there's always going to be that inherent bond. And even though you don't exist within the same sphere any world, anymore, within Earth or the spiritual realm, or really just in a position where you can see each other very often, you will always be friends forever. And it's learning that I guess when you grow up, like as a 25 year old, there's a lot of people in my life that I thought I was going to be friends with forever and I've lost communication with. But there is a lot of people that have moved across the country, outside of the country, that I might not be able to see anymore or even talk to on a very frequent basis. But there's always that understanding there and those memories and... When you do meet up with that person for after a long time, it's like nothing ever changed. And that's what you learn as you grow up, what friendship is really like. Welcome. To, thank you for listening to my TED Talk. I've been the Psychedelic Seal. I want to thank you all so much for spending your free time with me. I know this has been a super, super long video. Let me know because I imagine the other temples are going to be very similar to this, is if you would want me to split up these videos or keep them just like this super long. If they are super long like this, I might be only able to upload twice a week on the weeks where this is a thing. 
So just keep that in mind. If you'd rather have two or three uploads and have an entire dungeon done in an episode or split it up into two, completely up to y'all. I'm cool with whatever. But once again, thank you so, so much for joining me for our first temple. And I will see you cuties next time. Bye bye.